Well, it's no secret that sunscreen is essential for protecting skin, but not everything you hear about sun care is true. There are a number of dangerous sunscreen misconceptions that can lead to potential issues for our skin down the road. So what is myth and what is reality when it comes to skin care? Well, dermatologist Dr. Elizabeth Hale, who's partnered with Copper Tone, has the scoop on what you should stop believing so you can stay protected from the sun's harmful rays. Dr. Hale, good morning. Good morning, thanks for having me. Of course, great to have you on. So, so May is, <laughs> thank you. I was starting to say that May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and a lot of people don't realize that skin cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in the United States. So one in five Americans will develop skin cancer at some point in their lifetime, and that includes people of all skin types, not just fair-skinned individuals. People also don't realize that skin cancer is one of the most preventable cancers. So by practicing good sun protective behaviors, we can actually really cut down on our risks. One of the more common myths I hear is that you only need sunscreen when you're going to the beach or pool or when you're going on a sunny vacation. In reality, we know that most of the damage that we actually um, do get throughout our lifetime is more on a daily basis, just doing regular activities like running errands or even walking to the car or the office, even sitting inside near a window. So the ultraviolet damaging rays can penetrate year round through windows. And that's why we're trying to get people to think about protecting their skin every day, not just when they're going to the beach or in the summertime. Right, and, and to say that not all skin is created equal, it's also fair to say that not all sunscreen is created equal, right? Yeah, that's cute. Uh, yes, yeah, so there are so many sunscreen options out there, and it sometimes can be overwhelming to decide which one is best for you. So first, as a general rule, I tell people to look for a sunscreen that says broad spectrum on the packaging or on the label, because that means that it will block from both ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B rays. I try to recommend people choose a sunscreen of SPF 30 or higher because that can block 97% or more than that of the uh, damaging rays. But beyond that, there are so many options and formulations. And as dermatologists, we always say the best sunscreen is one that you'll actually use. Uh, I can mention a few new product innovations from Copper Tone this year, one of which is Copper Tone Sport Clear. So I've always been a fan of Copper Tone Sport because I exercise outdoors and I love the summertime, but you of course need to protect yourself. Sport Clear is a clear colorless gel. So unlike many of the lotions and the creams that we're accustomed to, this goes on, it provides a cooling effect and it does provide that sweat and water resistance. One of the other new products that people are finding exciting is Copper Tone Glow. So people that like a shimmer to their skin, they don't like sunscreens that might make them look or feel more pasty, this gives a natural glow or shimmer so people are more apt to use it and to reapply. And then I always have people that want a more natural option, people with sensitive skin or people looking for a line for their children. So there's Pure and Simple, which is 100% zinc oxide with some natural botanicals that can keep your skin protected in a more natural fashion. So these are three new products and there are so many other great products out there, but I think it's really key to think about sunscreen on a daily basis, also to try and keep clothing on when possible, keep your hat and sunglasses on, stay in the shade when you can, because although like we talked about, skin cancer is so common, it's largely preventable and it's often curable when it's caught early. So everyone should protect their skin and get checked by a board certified dermatologist. So true, I mean, still go out, have fun in the sun, but have fun safe is, is the key here. So Dr. Elizabeth Hale, thank you so much. Exactly, thank you. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.